Welcome back to another tutorial video. It's been a little while since my last upload due to some other commitments, so I apologize for the delay. However, I'm excited to dive into today's content because we'll be creating something really fun. In this video, I'll walk you through designing a fact sheet template for a company. This versatile template can be used by both small startups and large corporations alike. The design we're about to create is elegant and beautiful, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Firstly, navigate to the layout menu and click on custom margins under the margins tab. On this tab, set all the margins for top, bottom, left, and right to zero. This action will remove margins from all sides of the page. Zoom in on the page by pressing and holding the control key while scrolling the mouse wheel upward. Next, go to the insert tab and insert a circle shape of 3.98 inches by 3.98 inches. Change the color of the circle and remove the outline. Duplicate the circle by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard, or by pressing and holding the Ctrl key and clicking the left mouse button while dragging. Remove the fill color for the new circle and change the outline to a dashed line. Adjust the size of the outline circle shape to 4.24 inches by 4.247 inches. Select both circle shapes and align them to the center vertically and horizontally. Right-click on the selection and group the circle shapes. Finally, place this group of circles in the top left corner of the page. Next, insert a rectangle shape and set its size to 1.95 inches by 7.13 inches. Remove the outline of this shape and change its color to blue. The color codes will be provided in the description of this video. Align this shape to the right side of the page, ensuring that the Align to Margins option is selected. Right-click on the circle shape and choose the Bring to Front option to bring this shape on top of the circles. Move the circles slightly upward to align them with the rectangle shape. Afterward, go to the Insert tab and insert a logo. I'm using a placeholder logo, but you can use your own logo and place it on top of the circles. You can download this ready-made template in MS Word from from the link provided in the description of this video. Insert a rounded corner rectangle shape. Remove the outline and change its color to the same color used for the circles. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified about more such tutorial videos. Adjust this shape below the circles but above the rectangle shape. Next, insert a text box to write the title for this company fact sheet. Change the font size to 28 and then remove the outline and background color of the text box. Adjust this title of this fact sheet just above the rounded rectangle shape. Duplicate this text box and change the font size to 15. Write your company name here. Place this text on the blue rectangle shape and change the text color to white. Just below the company name, write a brief overview of the company, including its founding date, location, and main business activities. Change the font size of this text to 12. Next, go to the Insert tab and insert a rounded corner rectangle shape. 
Move the handle to make it a perfect round on the left and right and set the size to 0.55 inches by 3.94 inches. Remove the outline and change the color to light blue. Go to Insert, Shapes, and select the Freeform, Shape tool, and draw a custom shape just below the rectangle. Remove the outline. Then, right-click and select the Format Object option. On the right side, under the Fill options, change the Solid Fill to Gradient Fill. Change the angle to zero and select a dark gray color for the left handle. Remove the two handles in the center and select the same gray color for the right handle. Change transparency to 100%. Move the left handle to the right side and change transparency for this one to 40%. Send it to the back of the blue rectangle. We have done all of this to create a shadow effect for the rectangle shape. Then, insert another rectangle shape and adjust it on the left side of the light blue one. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified about more such tutorial videos. Right-click the light blue rectangle and select the Add Text option. Write the title, History, and then change the font size to 19. Align the text on the right side of the shape. Add some margin on the right side. Remove margins from the other sides of the shape to place the text in the exact middle of the shape. To make this heading one object, select all the shapes and group them. Adjust this to the far left of the page the way I have done. Then, duplicate the text box from the header and change the color to dark blue. Remove the text above and change the font size of the remaining 1 to 12. Adjust it below the heading properly and write the summary of the company's history, including significant milestones, expansions, and developments. Now, to create another section, duplicate the heading object and change the heading text to Mission Statement. Duplicate the copy text from above and write the company's mission statement, outlining its core values and objectives. Duplicate the heading object again and change the heading text to Products slash Services. Then, duplicate the copy text and write down the list of your company's products and services. Go to the Insert menu and insert a vertical line to separate this left side from the right side of this fact sheet. Change the outline color to darker blue and weight to 6. Right-click and select the option, send it to back, to send this line behind the other objects. Go to the Insert menu and insert a rounded rectangle on the right side. Change the color to dark blue and remove the outline. Right-click the shape and select Add Text option. Write the company's contact number on top, and below that write the contact details for inquiries or further information about the company. Select the phone number, and make it bold and large.
Now, duplicate the heading object from left side once again. Remove the blue line. Right-click the light blue shape and select Edit Points option. Right-click the far left point and delete it. Click the left top point and adjust it to remove the curve. Do the same with the bottom left. Adjust the heading object just above the line. Right-click and send it back to the line. Change the heading text to Achievements and Awards. Duplicate the copy text from left and list down the achievements and highlight any awards or recognition received by the company for its achievements or contributions. Now, insert a rectangle shape. Adjust the other objects a little bit upward to make some room below. Right-click the rectangle and remove the outline and change the color to dark blue. Right-click again and select the Add Text option. Write the heading for this section as Financial Performance. Align text to the left side. In the Shape option on the right side, set the text direction to Top. Add some margin on the left and top of the text inside the rectangle. Just below the heading, add details for the financial performance. Select the title text and change the font size to 21. Make this bold. Go to the Insert menu, Charts, and insert a bar chart. From the Layout Options, select Option to show this in front of the text. Drag this to the bottom adjust the size. Select the chart bars and change the colors to the other colors used in this fact sheet. This will help to make this look like an integrated part of the design. With that, our company fact sheet design is completed. If you have enjoyed this video, then please, like this video and share it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to our channel to get notified about more such tutorial videos.